Welcome back to the show. I'm Sports Director Max Hawkins. Well, Wednesday nights have plagued LSU baseball lately. They went 15 innings with UNO last night, but the Tigers pitching gave in late, and they lost 7-4. to four. LSU pitcher Todd Peterson got the start from... Todd Peterson filled up a ground ball and got it to Jake Slaughter, who got the runner out just in time. You saw that just there. Heck of a play by Slaughter. Later, Slaughter would hit a home run. Goes yard right there. That's Slaughter's second home run of the year. Just boomed that one. UNO would battle back to tie the score and send the game to extra innings, though. In the top of the 15th, UNO drove in three runs as LSU's pitching started to wane a little bit. The Tigers, unfortunately, couldn't find an answer back. You see the frustration on Kramer Robertson's face as he struck out late last night. The loss brings LSU to 13-5 and on the season. They'll open up SEC play tomorrow against Georgia. LSU spring practice is in full swing now. We've heard Coach Ed Ogeron talk about how there are many starting spots open for grabs. One spot, cornerback. With Tredavious White headed to the NFL, someone will need to step up opposite Dante Jackson. The player most people are looking to is former five-star recruit Kevin Tolliver. Tolliver had a rocky sophomore season, but he's looking to rebound in 2017. I wanted, I wanted a good sophomore season. You know, I wanted to, you know, um, have a better year than my freshman year, but, you know, it's the past, so, I mean, I, just, I could just focus on We compete team. every day. I mean, no spots given. Um, you know, it's, it's just, you know, just, just got to keep, keep competing every day and just keep. It may have been a bad year for the LSU men's basketball team, but the women, well, they're doing just fine. The LSU women's basketball team found out Monday evening they're in the NCAA tournament. It was a big turnaround for the Lady Tigers this season. They had a 10 and 21 record last season. They basically flipped it this year, finishing the year 20 and 11. They'll face number nine seed Cal Berkeley in the first round on Saturday. Many fans are just happy to see the Lady Tigers relevant again. But we spoke to the team yesterday, and well, they're not content with just making the tournament. See, it's, it's not enough to just make it to the tournament. We actually want to make some noise. So, you know, just being here and practicing, we've been going hard. We've been going so hard, <laughs> but. It's just so fun. It's so fun to, you know, just see your name on the TV, you know. But we definitely don't want to go there and be in one of 